show made me feel um, happy and sad at the same time. And it made me see like how different people, how, how the bullying experience is different for people compared to other people. Yeah, it made me think. It made me feel like warm inside because of how they were showing how like dark kids can be um, on the school playground. The best part of being a part of the yard is being able to see the, the viewers' reaction, what they get from it. It's not just watching a performance that we hope that they pick something out of this that they've experienced, the things that they've you know, faced and things that they that challenge them and that you know they can be like, oh, I can relate to that. She was about how kids sometimes get bullied and how it's very bad and you need to stand up for yourself. You don't want these things to happen to you. The Yard tells its story through dance and sport, hip hop, street dance and, uh, and drama. There are no spoken words in The Yard, but it's all about a physically driven narrative through the boys telling their story about what happens to them in a schoolyard. These days of 2018, the students cannot get away from bullying. If they're suffering it at school, they're also suffering it at home. So through social media, it's 24 hours a day and the important part is to try and make them resilient so that they are able to say it's not okay for you to speak to me like that but also to stand up for their friends. To stop that from happening I think other people could just say to the person being excluded you know come play with us you know come sit with us. I think the show was telling me don't bully because bullying is not good. Mm -hmm.